Hello gamers, this is Eric with Lone Gun Games, and today we're doing a little bit of a Let's Play in Fallout 76. I've just completed creating my character, and what we're going to do today is go and click on everything that we can inside of the vault before we leave. And the reason I want to do this is because once you leave the vault, you cannot come back in. Um, I don't know if that's something that's going to always be. Um, but as far as right now in the game, you cannot come back into the vault. So, uh, let's go ahead and check everything out in our apartment in Vault 76. Let's see what we can click on. And turn off the lamp. Let's go ahead and turn them off since we're going to leave. And uh, I don't like to waste electricity. I don't know about you, but when you have to pay for your own electricity, you find yourself turning off a lot of lights. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Okay, we can play the guitar. Playing instruments helps you relax. Play long enough to gain a bonus effect. So let's see how long it takes to get this bonus effect. really jamming out. That guitar actually looks like one that I own. Okay, so now we feel well tuned. There we go. So we have a buff. I don't have a pit boy, so I, I don't know what that buff is yet. So we'll check that out in just a moment. So we got our computer here. Let's go ahead and check it out. Terminals can hold hollow tapes, so this one has Nuka Tapper. Let's 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 read these other messages first. Today is the day, everyone. Reclamation Day. We've been preparing for this moment for 25 years. We are ready. You're ready. America is waiting for us. So let's get out there. The Overseer. Countdown to Reclamation Day. So let's see, our invitation for the party. We've opened the remaining liquor rations and the official Vault Tech party hats. The overseer, overseer will give a speech at 10 minutes to midnight and will lead the countdown. Have fun, everyone. Okay, let's check out our holotape here. Uh, we got a game. Okay, we can check it out for our level, I guess. Hold space to four, release to throw. Get ready to serve. Alright. So far, so good. Oh, we got the return glass. Oh, that wasn't good. I didn't want to do that. Two tries left. Oh, I can go down all the way to the top. Just like in uh, Pac-Man. Should I wait for the glass or can I get them? Oh, okay, I can get them. <laughs> We're going to spend all our time playing this game. All right. Oh, that was it. One more try. I've never really been good at this game. I think there was an old arcade game where you did something similar with root beer. I, don't, I think it was also it was called. Was it also Tapper? I don't remember. Oops. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Oh well, there you go. You got it. Let's get out of this. And we'll go ahead and take that with us. All right. <laughs> so I guess you could spend all your time playing Nuka Cola Tapper. Uh, not even uh, play the rest of the of the game. Don't even leave the vault. Oh, 
Here we go. I don't know why you would want to do laundry right before you're leaving, but. Chair. Take a shower. Hey, the water doesn't look that bad. Got some steam. Nice, nice. Let's wash our hands. <laughs> oh, what does it say? Need more sugar bombs? Reminder, don't put TP on backwards. That is very important. This is the correct way to install your toilet paper. <laughs> Let's see. We got an uh, award for the Halloween costume contest. First place. Outstanding Achievement Award. Best looking hair. Could you imagine getting an award for best looking hair? Cleanest toilet award. <laughs> All vault life. I, I can't resist the lamps. I'm sorry. Okay, here we go. Pit Boy. All right. For that classic look. So now we have our Pip Boy 2000 and our first mission here. So let's go ahead and see what Well Tuned is. So Well Tuned is a, an hour buff and it, it increases our action points by 25. That's, that's a good buff. I just get a goal. Still not one. When you hear this, it means oh. I've been gone for several hours. I've got my own mission out there in Appalachia. This is the overseer. Okay, so the overseer just announced sh she's going on her own mission. That's interesting. <laughs> All right, that's a friendly reminder to get a, get a move on. So let's that's follow right. the signs. Just keep moving. Take those critical goodies along the way. Stay hydrated. That is important. Purified water and radix. Eating raw meat is bad. Eating irradiated raw meat. So so <laughs> so we're getting tips about the gameplay as we interact with the robots. Medicine checklist. Radex, Radaway, Skin Pack. Got it? Good. Alright. Building supplies. Items with components can be used for crafting. I know it's cozy in here, but you'll soon be faced with a distinct lack of power and shelter. So we got wood scraps, steel scrap, raw cloth, and adhesive. Adhesive, you will need a lot of. I'm certain of that. When you get outside, do remember your manners. Be nice. So we can do emotes by pressing G. Didn't really see that. Let's try that again. There we go. Thumbs up. <laughs> oh, I can't see it from the front. Right. There we go. Okay, so 
that's that's going to come in handy to communicate with others. Good to know, Merriman. All right, let's go ahead and see if we can go in the overseer's office. Yes, we can. Let's go ahead and use the terminal. Overseer eyes only. We are not the overseer, but she won't know, won't hurt her. 25 years after the vault doors close, you are to prepare your citizens to leave Vault 76 and begin a process called reclamation. Specifics will be dis disseminated automatically as that time approaches. After Reclamation Day, you are personally ordered to find and secure three nuclear silos, codenamed Alpha, Bravo, and Charlie. If these sites are still nuclear capable, ensure no one except Vault-Tec can access or launch nuclear ordnance. To be clear, even if there are other authorities, whether government, militia, or otherwise, they are... And we can't read further. Vault 76 parameters... Vault 76 is one of the most important projects that vault Tech has completed. No expense has been spared on building, staffing, and selecting the inhabitants of your vault. The cream of the crop of America have been chosen, including luminaries from vault Tech University. The special classes and instruction you've received about managing a vault do not apply to this assignment. Vault 76 is special. Your mission is to see the lively is to see to the livelihood and well-being of all your residents and make sure they're ready to colonize. And that's all we can see of that one. Operation procedures, day-to-day -day duties. Your job as overseer is to see to the overall health and safety of Vault 76. Avoid loss of life at all costs. The vault residents have been carefully chosen for their unique skills and temperament. Due to the aptitude of the vault residents, you may be presented with unique challenges in maintaining order. As a last result, each domicile can be locked down and the resident imprisoned for any duration you deem appropriate. Enforced solitary confinement can lead to psychological issues, so factor that in. Although the vault doors can not be opened from the, outside, from the inside, keep the entry clear of all unauthorized personnel. The security team will stow all weapons and munitions after the amended entry period and will be armed solely with non-lethal devices. So we don't have access to weapons right now. That's not good. Our studies have shown, even after a relatively short duration of living with the amenities of vault Tech, that test subjects can grow to depend on them. That will not do for Vault 76. After the all-clear message is received, Vault 76 will shut down all functions inside of 24 hours. Air circulation will cease last, and you should warn the vault residents that staying inside the vault can be lethal after this period. Everyone must leave the nest. It's imperative that all residents are focused on the important job of rebuilding America. Well, that answers our question. We can't sit and play Nuka Cola Tapper. <laughs> we have to. We have to leave the vault. And see, some archive messages. We counted down to midnight. I haven't seen everyone cheer like that since Vault Baby Number One was born. I called lights out a couple of hours ago. Had to get security to help a few people to their beds. Then the volunteers and I got all the standees set up, just like we practiced. Need to make the final recordings, and then it'll be time to head out that door. I wish I could be there to help everyone on their way, but I know they'll make me proud. Survival first. As instructed, we set up the survival packages. I've advised everyone to run fast and far from 76 as soon as the doors open. We have no information on what awaits us. vault Tech says we're America's best hope. Now we'll find out. Annual review. At current count, six residents are under disciplinary lockdown. That's up from four last year. The morale officer has managed to quash the worst rumors about Appalachia. Cannibal mutants, burning rain, whatever, but tensions are high. It's generally pretty easy to maintain order. The pedigree of most of the residents is impressive, to say the least. But competence sometimes means arrogance, and arrogance means my authority gets tested more often than it should. Hydroponics has been struggling to keep up with dot dot dot. We will never know. No deleted files. Play the holotape. Oh, I ejected the holotape. So we'll play it from the bit boy. Overseer's 
long, or should I say, direct communication. Because whoever is listening to this had the moxie to try to find out where I've gone. But I'm glad you did. Truth is, I need your help. I've been given a task, and I've decided to break protocol and tell you what it is. Because if there's one thing I've learned in these past few years, it's that we need to rely on each other. There were three active nuclear silos in Appalachia before the bombs fell. They blew up the world before. We can't let it happen again. So we've got to locate and secure all of the silos. Or die trying. Hopefully the former. But it's been 25 years. I just don't know what we're gonna find out there. Or where to start. My directive was to go to the nearest population center and assess the situation. I'll set up a camp on the way once I get my bearings. Find me there. Okay, so the Overseer has shared her mission with us. Your camp is the key to survival and rebuilding. So use it often. All right, now we have a camp. Build a camp. After you leave the vault, open your pit boy and press Z once you're in the wilderness. And unfortunately, there is nothing in these lockers or boxes to click on. Yay, a movie. Your pit boy, your friend. Inventory management radio receiver. Adapting to life outside. Accept your newer, harsher surroundings. Scavenge weapons and items to help you survive. Seek safety in numbers. Do it yourself. Supplies may be scarce after the war. Many things can be broken down to into useful crafting materials. Use your camp to establish a mobile base of operations. All good advice. the skills necessary to accomplish anything. I'm sure of it. <laughs> Alright. Oh, here we go. Perk cards. And we just leveled up. Okay, so now we have a choice to make. What are we going to specialize in at the beginning? So strength has gladi gladiator. Your one-handed melee weapons now do 10% damage. Mm, let's see. Perception. Concentrated fire. Vats now targets limbs. Endurance. You take 30% less radiation from eating or drinking. Inspirational. When you are on a team, gain 5% more XP. First aid. For intelligence, stim packs restore 15% more lost health. Action boy, action points regenerate 15% faster. And for luck, we can increase our chance of finding extra chems. Hmm, I think we're going to go endurance because we are going to eat and drink a lot. I There we go. So now we have a card. Endurance has two points unused. So I guess we got an extra point at the beginning. Let's go ahead and equip our card. And we are level two. equip our classes and our party at no weapon yet continue to follow the signs and that is it we are at the door we're at the vault door so that's all there is to do inside of the vault again once you leave you cannot come back in so we've covered everything including the story and 
by looking at the overseer's computer we got a taste of what uh, experiencing the storyline in the greater world is like um we're to experience the storyline we're going to be reading on computers um, picking up hollow tapes reading notes and letters uh, that are spread around the world so that's that's a little taste of how storyline uh, the story is actually told in this game so it's a little little different than we're used to um, but that's that's been the one of the biggest questions about uh, that people were wondering like how, how are you going to tell a story when you don't have NPCs so a little bit of storyline from from like as we've seen with the computers um, there are there, we're also going to see a lot of robots <laughs> to interact with like Aldridge in here so the story is told in in, in then that kind of way so uh, that's that was a taste of what it's like and I'm gonna stop here um, I'll make another video after we've left the vault I really do appreciate you watching this video and if you enjoyed it um, please give a like if you enjoy my channel please go ahead and subscribe and I look forward to seeing you in the next video